this is the line. This is the water line here. I, I think that for all these days, it prepared me because uh, I, I just uh, imagined so many times in many ways that uh, what my house looked like. To look at all the furnitures all shifted and fell, that's, that's even out of my imagination. One of the worst floods Houston has had in a long time, probably the worst uh, I remember. And so we're interested in how these type of extreme flooding events affect water quality in the Houston area. So we've taken samples from different bayous and creeks in the uh, greater Houston area, uh, looking at how, say, wastewater treatment plants or petrochemical facilities might be uh, washing contaminants into our waterways. And so we looked at, looked at it when the bayous were high, and then we went back and looked when they dropped a little bit. We've looked inside some homes in the area to see what type of uh, biological contaminants, metals, um, organics, such as like chemicals and pesticides we're finding in the water. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see how these type of extreme flooding events uh, affect water quality in the Houston area. It's this kind of a severe situation, like Harvey damaged a lot, and many people volunteer to help neighbors, and it's a really nice thing, and also Rice students also have a lot of neighbors. As a environmental scientist and engineer, we do water sampling and analyzing, and we provide the correct information to public, which is very important as well. I mean, it's pretty important learning from mistakes is for engineering, you know. I mean, it's like the whole goal of the community of engineers is to design safer and more, you know, better places to live. And so when things go wrong, you know, that's sad, but the most important thing is to learn from that.